Hostile broadcast detected. I spy with my little eye someone... Oh, sorry agents. Just trying to take care of a little personal business with a particular senior intel analyst. Now, to your business agents. First, I have to admit that playing the game of hot or cold is a whole heck of a lot more fun than getting lost when Isaac's GPS is acting all wacky. I wonder what spots around DC you all think has the worst GPS coverage. Anyway, let's get back to it. Red hot. Cassandra, and now before you say anything, I want you to take a deep breath and promise you'll keep an open mind. I need you to listen to me, to, to truly listen and be open to admitting that maybe, just maybe, you were wrong. <laughs> I, I don't expect you to trust me, but I think we can help each other with our little hunter problem. Oh, I know you must be thinking, hey, what could Aaron Keener possibly tell me about the Hunters that I don't already know? You think me and my rogues have been targeting the Division? This couldn't be further from the truth. If you really want to stop the Hunters, I can stop them. Well, I can't. But if we work together, we might stand a chance. So, Kelso found an echo meant for Cassandra. We'll get back to her in a bit. But all this egg hunt was so Keener can make one final pitch to have Cassandra join his crusade against not the Division. Because if you carefully peel back through the layers of Division agents he murdered along the way, he was actually going after the Hunters. Let's just call it his extra creative roundabout way to be the good guy in this story. I mean, Keener was right after all. Let's keep it going. What the fuck? Present detected. Ooh, a present. Two-factor authentication required. <laughs> that two-factor authentication gets you every time. Look, I actually like me some Kelso. And I hate to see her journey perhaps end like this. But yeah, I'm gonna need to see that again. That's embarrassing. And that's not the type of jolt you just get up and walk away from. She did have a few people on her scent. I hope for her sake none of them found her before she could regain her bearings. But you agents may have bought her a little more time when you took out BTSU Special Unit Whiskey 1 at the Federal Reserve. And speaking of them, let's go over the note you found on their cell leader, Valentino Hurricane Clark. Reading this, we could probably piece together who Cassandra most likely was. I mean, there's only one person recently considered a traitor that Kelsa would have felt such emotion for after possibly thinking they were now vindicated. Only one person who, according to some of the comms you just found, that Keener really wanted to recruit. Well, you've certainly gotten their attention now. That was always the plan. And how exactly do I fit into your little plan? You're the honeypot. And what bear do you think I can trap? A cute little one-eyed koala. You're kidding, right? Not at all. That's not going to go over well with the ex. Which ex? Xander. She, um, she hates your little one-eyed koala. Never pictured you with the JTF. She's, um, she's with the true sons now. Oh. Well, it does create some complications and opportunities. So, you in, honey? As long as you promise never to call me that again, sure. Why the hell not? Initial contact made. How'd it go? Koala has Alicia in custody, so not great. 
Uh, at least you got away. More than I can say for Javier. What happened to Kajika? Kelso and her agents from D.C. They are better than I expected. Well, she is relentless. Am I targeting the wrong ally? No. Kelso. She was CIA. Nat would never. She was hesitant at first, but she liked the mythology and agreed. Great. Happy to hear Cassandra is ready. And you're okay with the compromise? If the only thing I have to give up is two-factor authentication to activate the network, that's a sacrifice I'm more than willing to make. Our Cassandra will seem to be Fei Lao. And while Kelso can understand Fei's motives and actions, I knew she wasn't a traitor. I wish she could have told me, but I get it. Blah, blah, blah. Kelso might understand, agents, but I don't. Faye practically spent all her time in New York sidelined with a bum leg, while people like you and me at the time risked both life and limb in mid Manhattan. And some of them didn't have the luxury of just losing an eye. But still, she kept the particulars from us, from those in the front line. And because of that, even though we have the key, like Kelso says, my guess is that that key right now is laying in the bed hooked up to machinery, unable to do anything about the information you've just been gathering. And in addition to that, Kelso, one of your best agents, despite Manny's second guessing, ends up getting knocked out, possibly laying in a puddle of urine and feces, vulnerable to whoever she thinks has nine lives and is following her. Agents, I came to the financial district to see you retake a couple control points see you knock off a few bounties even with the hopes of playing a hand or two of cards with a contact near the pier but all this traitor double agent among us stuff just reminds me why i like playing solitaire more than anything else because in the end you can only really trust yourself i wouldn't say that i mean besides you anna i'll be watching agents <laughs>